everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita, and today we have a haul. It's a Christmas decor haul. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with this haul. I went to Aldi's, um, Michael's, Home Goods, and I think that is all. Yeah, Target. Got a few things from Target, maybe one or two things, but I want to share it with you. This is probably going to be my last Christmas decor haul. My, um, I did go looking for a Christmas tree for my new office. There's nothing special I've done in there other than I got new furniture for the area. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul because you know I'll go on and on. And today I'm sipping on water. I just had a great nap. I haven't really been sleeping good since daylight saving time and I just had a really good nap so I am ready to do this haul I'm going to share it with you all and let's go ahead and get started first thing I want to share are these reindeers I picked these up I purchased two I was really looking for the ones that they have at crate and barrel similar to those I did find some they also have them and gold at Aldi's but Aldi's my local Aldi's did not have them you can even order online but let me talk about these so these were $12.99 each really pretty skinny I love that modern look of them so I got two of these at home goods for $12.99 now these are kind of similar to the Crate and Barrel or let's see I think it's Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn so the small ones at Pottery Barn, their head, neck kind of dips down. The small ones are $19.50 and the, the mediums are $39.50 and the large ones are $79. I'll put a clip, they actually have the measurements and let me get my measuring tape and let's measure. So, I got them stuck together okay so I'm assuming they're probably going to the tallest the highest part of the reindeer and this one is 15 inches the highest part so the pottery barn one is 18.75 inches and it is 39.50 so I would say it's somewhere between the small and the the medium one. So $12.99 at Home Goods. You got two of the same size. They didn't have the large ones. All right. So since we're on the reindeers, I also actually I was online on all these. I was about to place an order. I've never done the cart order, and my daughter was like, Your first one is free, so you know you can pick it up or they'll deliver it. And I went online and I was like, oh. Cool. And here it is. I'll show you the two small ones. And they are similar to the ones at Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn. So, Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel sells them separately. This set was $29. Does it have the measurements? Okay, it does have the measurements. And they are exact. So, at Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel, because you know they're sister companies, I believe. I could be wrong. But the 8 inch, like I said, is $19.50, and the 18.75 inch is $39.50. This one has the 8 inch and the 18.75, exactly the same measurements. I'll show you on the box. I don't even have to measure it to see. So here's a closer up image or view of these they're really cute and skinny Go up and here is the other one if you can see that so these were 29 dollars for this set at aldi's other set was 60 dollars for both of them together it really wasn't a set online but individually price added up to 60 dollars and this was 30. so this is a great dupe it even may be made by the same company because you know that's how it goes sometimes now here is the other one. This one is the large. It's pretty similar, pretty similar. I'll show a picture side by side if you can see that. 
of the large reindeer on Pottery Barn. It's $79 and it's 28 inches. This one is also 28 inches. The box, it says 28 inches. So the, I wanted to go, they are very similar, I should say. Not the exact, but very similar to the ones they have at Crate and Barrel. The large one like this was $80. I got it for $29. The dupe at Aldi's. And I love Aldi's. I love Aldi's. So I got that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to share is a mannequin. I know I didn't need another one and I'm going to tell you about it. So I get a lot of people that ask me about my mannequin and I felt really, I felt really bad because when I went, they had two and I didn't get them. I was like, Sharita, you could have done one for a giveaway, especially for those items that are hard to find. So anyway, I found this red one. This is the exact same red one I purchased maybe seven years ago from Home Goods. This was $40. I think when I got mine, it was $30. So this is the exact same blouse that I had on my other one. The one that's back here, I'll show you that one in a minute. I get so many questions, inbox emails about it, and even on our channel, what, where did I purchase it? I got it from Home Goods. It was $40 as well, and it may be even made by the same brand. I tried to look it up. I tried my best to find it, and I couldn't. That one has more of those, um, I guess you would say more of the flock look to it with the iridescent and when I purchased mine like this I took everything off and um, I redid the blouse or the bustier part so and then I also added some more there is a video I did like a little short as well showing how I created this look and let me show you it so here is the one that I transposed. I made it longer. And on this one, if you can see that, I added some lights to this one as well. And the top part is nothing but ribbon. I just took the ribbon and wrapped it around it. And you can see in the back where it is tucked. And then I used polka dots, small polka dots on the top. And I just used the larger polka dot on the bottom. So this is what this is what this looked like before, and this is the after. So I'm saying all of this to say, this is going to go in the guest bedroom down the hall because these are the colors that are in there. And this one is going to be part of a giveaway. Now, here's the thing. If I find the one that's just like that one, then I will swap them out or give you a choice. It's a little more glam if that's your style. This one is a little bit more traditional and you can still dress it up like I did. And I just added some old tree branches from a garland that I had to this one and just brought it down, made it longer. And of course, like I said, changed the ribbon on the, on the blouse. So this actually slides off real good once you untie the bow, but I'm not going to do that because this is going to be part of a giveaway for when we get ready to do the bedroom, okay? So, the bedrooms. Anyway, this is going to be a part of the giveaway and uh, you all have a heads up. This is your first time watching. Like I said, welcome, I appreciate you. You got a heads up too on the giveaway, which will be when we get ready to do the bedroom. So, I'll, uh, the only restriction is going to be, when it does come, is US. I've never shipped out of the US. I don't wanna deal with custom issues. So we're just going to keep it in the US, okay? And let's move on to the trees. They're small trees. They're not trees that, uh, Christmas trees. They're actually decorative small trees for placing on items. So the first one I want to share is this one. It's green $14.99 at Home Goods. It lights up really, really pretty. And this is going in my office. I'm trying to make sure I inspect it because I don't want any issues. It has the battery on the bottom. Can't wait to put it in there. Hopefully my desk will arrive next week and we can share that space with you all. So 
this one, like I said, $14.99 at Home Goods. So the other thing I picked up was this beautiful purple bottle brush tree. This is going to go more than likely in the guest bedroom upstairs because in that room we're going to do gray and purple for Christmas. So that's a little sneak preview of what's going on in there. This was $10 at Home Goods. I also picked up from Home Goods this little, I would think it's a charcuterie board. It was $12.99. It does not have any little tabs on the bottom. So I'll probably just have it displayed um, in my kitchen. $12.99. It has the and the wood on the other side. I do love that look. And then it has a really nice gold inlay inset going down, separating the wood and the marble. Really pretty. Okay. And from Target, from the little uh, dollar area, I picked up this little two-tier tray. It was $5 at, at Target. Now, originally I was going to put it in my bar and coffee bar area. I'm kind of thinking I may take my Nespresso machine out because it's that time of the year. And I find myself drinking more and more coffee and I'm having a hard time sleeping at night as it is because of daylight saving time i'm going to be so early and waking up like three o'clock in the morning so um, once i reset my body i may start back drinking my coffee but for now so five dollars at target okay so i've been stuck in taupe y'all i have really been stuck in the taupe and browns they're so warm and cozy and this is a taupe and gold similar to the one i have down the hall Pillow. I don't see the tag. I guess it came off. No, it's the Caldera. Caldera. So the ones down the hall is Caldera as well. And it's $34.99. I did get two really pretty taupe and gold. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to add it in here for our Christmas look. So this is that time of the year. Some of you who say their husbands do not like the gold, bring it in for Christmas and slowly let it stay. He won't even notice, or maybe he will, but he may end up liking it. <laughs> so I also picked up this pillow. It says Rejoice. It is part of the 34th and Pine brand, and it is $19.99. I got it to go in the guest bedroom hopefully it won't end up in here but that's the plan for it to go in the guest bedroom down the hall okay so that's all the pillows that's really all my home decor too and this little just the little pillows now let's do the ornaments i picked up some of uh, quite a few ornaments i didn't need any more but i wanted some more of the ones that i shared for the christmas tree in the living room I originally got them. I'm pretty sure I got them to go in the hearth room because I wanted all of the metallics in them. And I didn't have the actual box when I did my decor haul. So now I have a box. I can show you what they are. Okay, so here are the ornaments. I, last time I did the haul, I shared a picture side by side. But I'm going to go through and pick out the grays and the metallics and add them to the Christmas tree and garland that's in the kitchen area so i really like the the metallic and i wish that they they sold them as sets like all the metallics together but i'm pretty sure the reason why they grouped them together was for you to buy them like this so these were 15 dollars. they are priced 30 dollars, but of course 50 percent off at michael's 18 piece and I can't wait to add them in that area as well. And I'll share that. You'll see that when we do the final walkthrough for, for Christmas. The other thing I picked up was this large ornament. Where is the price on it? I think it was $14, $12.99, but I may put it over in the hearth room area. I'm sorry, in the dining room area. And I say that because my grandbaby, when he finally saw the tree, he ran over and he's like 18 months, 20 months. 
he ran over to the tree hollering, bow, bow. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> and I'm glad that tree is um, the, the non-breakable ornaments, but he picked that ornament up and threw it clean across the room. So I can just imagine this, yeah, it's going to be one of those he's definitely going are going to reach for. Other than that, that's probably the only reason why I may be sending it back. It'll be pretty high, but he's tall. He's tall for a 18-month-old. Um, he's a pretty tall little boy, and he reaches for everything on the counter, and this will be the first thing he reached for. He don't even really touch the items that are on my coffee table anymore, so he doesn't mess with that. But this right here, he's going to get it that first time. And, and a lot of times, I'll just let him touch it because the minute you say no, he's going to want it even more. So I let him touch it and see how he reacts. Even like the ornaments that I have, the glass um, globe, globes I have on my coffee table, I'll sit and let him touch it. And then I'll say no, 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 if he's getting ready to do something like throw it. But in that case, this may go back. If not, it'll go really far back on the table or somewhere over there. So, Home Depot, I mean Home Goods, $12.99. Okay, so we got some color and I don't know where it's going, but I had to buy them. This may even be something for next year. I thought about putting it in my office, but I really wanted to do green in there. So I don't know, we will see, we shall see. So here it is. And these are definitely something that you can make, but doing the math on them, let me tell you. So this was $16.99. I got three. I got three of these. Um, and they are, how many inches? Six feet, they're six feet long. I um, saw these and I didn't get them. They had four at the time and I didn't get them. They have a box of them, but they were all different. They had the silver and gold together. They No, it was silver and pink. And then they had the red, a lot of the red. But these, I've seen, but they were maybe the larger ones and they may have been longer. I didn't research them, I just saw them. I went to see how much they were and they were $175. Of course, I'm pretty sure they, they are made a lot different, but this is a nice dupe. So, $17 each. I got three of them. Now, they do have the ornaments at Michael's with all, the, all of these colors, all of them, except the ornaments are this size. So, you could make this and be fine, but let's see. It was $15 for a box of 100 this size. So... I counted these ornaments and they are small and medium. It's 75 ornaments already made. So I feel like this is worth the price. Other than, you know, if you wanted a lot of small ones, you can go and, and get them just to add to what you have. But if you can find these, $17. I did check Home Goods website. They did not have them. Unfortunately, I would love to share the uh, link when I was in line purchasing them everybody was asking where did I find them they wanted them and um, it just depends on what your look is and this is not the look for my area but I can see in my office or maybe a haul or something like that these colors work really good so we'll see if my daughter was still here i would probably use them in her bedroom or something like that but for now maybe my office we'll see if i'm going to either do the green or this color all right so three of these 17 dollars each at home goods. and like i said this is my last haul everything else i'll be doing past decorating for christmas will be updating my space getting ready for the holidays, you know, shopping and things like that, as well as um, home projects, projects. We're going to do projects. So I wanna get my Christmas uh, videos out the way. No more hauls because I'm spending money on Christmas decor. Okay, now I also picked up these. I'm, I am going to take these back. And the reason why I, 
couldn't remember if I needed bronze or this color. These are those stamps and this one has three in them and they're $17 each. They're more of the champagne color. And they're pretty, but they're not what I was looking for. Let me show you the other one. Oh, this is the one that I had. It came in a pack of three for $12.99. And this is the new one. So there is a difference. These are larger right here, but this is the color I was looking for. These will probably work. $17 package of three, and this one $13 a package of three. So that's the difference between the two. So I wanted to show them to you because they are going back. I got two sets, Home Depot. So I'll wrap them up, put them right back in here. My receipt is in the bag and that's $35 coming back my way. Okay, the other thing, I have some more ornaments and these, let me get them. Okay, so those ornaments from Michaels are shatterproof and these are glass though. I just want to mention that these are also shatterproof. Good thing about them. Great kid friendly, kid friendly ornament. Now these are not kid friendly ornaments. These are 34th and Pine, really, really pretty. They have sequins and a little bit of glitter on them and they're really pretty bronzy gold. And I also picked up these glass metallic ones really, really pretty. I really wanted some ornaments that looks closer to maybe collector's items, but majority of those are going to be glass ornaments. And before the grandbabies start coming, I felt like perfect timing, but now it kind of makes me nervous, but I'm still going to do me. And um, these were $12.99. I'm going to show you a close-up of these as well as these. So I got two boxes of these. They were $7.99. And this four-pack was $12.99. So here is that one. Really pretty. I want you to see. Let's see how you see the little stripes of glitter. I love that look. I think it'll make any tree bling a little bit more so these were the 7.99 ones these are the really heavy these are really heavy metallic looking these are pretty 12.99 i only got one box of these I'm trying to see if they have the size of them on there nope no size all right and part of my um little glam collection i did pick up some more of these i may have shared these in my other haul but these were a five pack of, of, uh, for $10. Really, really pretty poinsettias. I felt like, oh, I can just put these all throughout the tree and not have to use ornaments or ribbon. But I may go another direction, but I got them on hand just in case. It just depends as my vision comes to life when I'm putting my tree together, which direction I'll go. All right, everyone, that's the end of the haul. I have been running into a lot of our YouTube family members and I really do appreciate each and every one. And anytime you see me, if I'm in home goods, I have time. So don't feel, don't feel bad about walking up to me. You're not bothering me. I'm a normal person. I don't ever really just uh, go to home goods unless I have time to shop. Sometimes I'll just do a walkthrough, but for the most time I have time to chit chat. So feel free to walk up to me. I've met quite a few people we've taken pictures together i have some myself that i want to share and i plan to share this year before the year is out of pictures i've taken with my youtube family and i really appreciate each and every one of you so thanks again i really met some great people along this journey so with that being said this is the end of this video feel free to like share and comment and if you watch any of my other videos and you like them feel free to go back and leave comments and even share them so thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed it and also be on the lookout for the dining room video that one should be out tomorrow so the mannequin i'm going to do a giveaway for that it won't be on tomorrow's video maybe the next one but i want to give you all a heads up because like i said majority of the people who watch the hauls 
our subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because that is going to be one of the uh, qualifications to win the mannequin. With that being said, be on the lookout for that giveaway video. And thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.